We had a fabulous ballroom dancer today. Mm -hmm. Two yes. incredible um, uh, ballerinas. Hi and I, I did the ballerina. The, the breaking boys from Switzerland, the two brothers, yes. are brilliant. So already I think I've seen, for me, uh, three or four kids that will probably be in either of the two top tens this morning. You know, How excited not. are you for Paula to be here this season? Not as excited as I am. Ah. <laughs> not as excited as I am. I am thrilled. And as you probably remember, if you've been watching the series, I had an empty chair there for four weeks. Rather once, awkward and embarrassing. Paula, come and sit down. I tried to force her into well, tell us how excited you I are. would watch it from from like my couch, like turning red in my own <laughs> house. It was embarrassing, but like like I haven't been embarrassed by you many times. Uh, what does it mean to your soul? Ooh. For me, it's it's when you hear these dancers say, "Dancing got me through the hardest times, got me through illnesses that could have been fatal." It's the truth. Dancing, unlike any other art form, to me heals in so many ways. It heals depression. It heals in it heals your injury because once a dancer, always a dancer, and the spirit and psyche of dancers are unlike any other performer I've ever witnessed. And um, it is from the soul, it is from the heart. Are you gonna be performing this season? Um, only if Nigel does. <laughs> how I think, how obvious was it for her to fill this spot? I mean, I think most people associate Paula with dancing and this show is, you know, the only show. So when, when it was kind of that spot was open, was it a no-brainer, call Paula, let's do this? Or did it take some while for it to happen? Well, I mean, I've said, I've, t I've tried to include Paul ever since we started the, se the series. Um, for me, and I've said this earlier, uh, Paula doesn't look at the dancer in front of her. She looks at what that dancer can become. And that's because she was a choreographer as well and knows how to treat dancers and how to push dancers. And that's really important at this early stage in the competition. Otherwise, we lose growth. And this, this you know, when you look at how many kids actually compete in So You Think and Dance, there's going to be one winner at the end of the day. And so they can't focus on the destination. They've got to focus on the journey. And that journey is really important. That's where they will gain their growth and work with some of the best commercial choreographers in the country. Well, and for me, what's exciting is a lot, a lot of the professionals on that have come out of uh, this show have been students of mine that I plucked out of dance studios and said, come on, you're going on the world tour with me, including Ty Diorio, Sean Cheeseman. Mm -hmm. um, I know I'm the choreographers you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I'm yeah. talking about the choreographers as well as dancers that I was out scouting like yeah. when I was just starting my music. So it's just been And the other incredible. great dance program, Dancing with the Stars, has now got seven of the So You Think You Can Dance dancers in Dancing with the Stars. So I yeah. said they're going to call it Dancing with the So You Think You Can Dance Dancers. <laughs>